Welcome to Electro Online. I thought it might be interesting to figure out and look up how much it costs to actually produce a kilowatt hour of electricity depending upon the source used. And what we found here was quite interesting. Again, there's a lot of things we have to take into consideration, especially the cost of putting together the infrastructure, building new power plants and so forth. So there's a lot of added taxes to that, then there's a lot of subsidies. It, it becomes very, very difficult to really try to figure out exactly how much it costs per, per kilowatt hour to produce electricity. But if we just kind of get rid of the building the new infrastructure part and all that, just the cost of putting the, the power plants together or the sources together and actually running the sources and paying for the fuel and so forth, then it costs about this much money right here. It turns out that the cheapest way to produce electricity still is coal at about four cents per kilowatt hour. Now, the reason that so many countries still use it is then therefore quite obvious. It's not a good source as far as pollution is concerned because it does add a lot of air pollution, but it's a cheap way to produce electricity. The next most popular way of producing electricity is to use natural gas, and that's really coming up very strongly as a second source. It's building, the amount of power plants being built that use natural gas are increasing all the time, just as they're still building a lot of coal plants. And notice, depending upon what technique they use, they have some new techniques where they have highly efficient gas plants that can produce electricity at a rate of six cents per kilowatt hour. The more traditional ways of developing electricity or, or to produce electricity using natural gas runs uh, at about eight cents per kilowatt hour. A close fourth here is nuclear power. That's of course provided you're using the nuclear power plants that are already available. In some places it's now becoming very difficult and very expensive to build new ones because all the regulations, but for the ones that are in existence, it's actually nuclear fuel is actually very cheap. The operating cost is a little bit more expensive because it's a little bit more difficult to operate nuclear power plants, but you can see it's no wonder that almost 80% or more of all the power, all the electricity produced in the world is the top four right here. And then if you throw in that hydroelectric power, you're now probably close to 90% of all power in the world is produced by coal, natural gas, and nuclear power as well as hydroelectric power. The thing about hydroelectric power is we've pretty well exhausted all the available sources. There's not a lot of places in the world where we can build additional hydro hydroelectric plants that we haven't built already. And so we've pretty well exhausted our, the sources, but and hydroelectric power is also really cheap to use. It runs about one cent per kilowatt hour once the dam is built. Of course, those dams are very expensive and you have to pay for those a long period of time. So it's kind of hard to figure out where exactly it falls. But everybody realizes that if you have an opportunity to build a hydroelectric power, power plant, or a hydroelectric dam, it's a good source of investment. Then the other, other sources tend to be more of the, re, the renewable resource. Anything below that is what we would call a renewable resource. And interestingly enough, the cost of renewable power plants or renewable source of electricity tends to be more expensive than the traditional ones because they're not as effective and they are very expensive to start up. Wind, if they're built onshore, runs you about 11 cents per kilowatt hour, and wind offshore, when they're built over the ocean, then it runs as high as 17 cents per kilowatt hour. Geothermal is actually cheap, a cheap source of energy, but they're very difficult to maintain because of the corrosion difficulties, so that runs you quite expensive at 13 cents per kilowatt hour. And biomass, because they tend to be very small operations, also don't tend not to be as efficient to produce the electricity, it runs you about 14 cents per kilowatt hour. The thing about the biomass is that you usually use trash or chicken droppings or waste wood or something like that that otherwise just would be thrown away. And so it's not a bad idea to use it to use electricity. However, again, it's not as cheap as you might think. Then, then at the bottom of the list is solar. Either solar used thermal solar or PV, the photovoltaic cell solar. And surprisingly, even though sunshine is free for anyone, it is expensive to harness it, at least at this time. In the future, we hope that this will become more cheaper, uh, not more cheaper, but cheaper, um, especially if we can increase the efficiency of the photovoltaic cells and the way we get the thermal energy out of the solar heat. But notice 22 cents and 45 cents per kilowatt hour make those particular ways very expensive 
and they still require a lot of subsidies, subsidies, of course, in the form of taxes, to get this off the ground and get this running. But hopefully in the future we'll be able to produce these more cheaply to start biting into the, the non-renewable sources. But the, the, the ratio is probably about 90% uh, non-renewable versus 10% renewable if we exclude the already existing hydroelectric power dams. And so that's kind of interesting as far as the amount of electricity that's produced and the cost of electricity still by far is outweighed by the non-renewable sources, at least at this time.